Hello, I'm here today to talk to you about something that is really frustrating a lot of people in medical care and that are the medical checklists and how we are going to try as a team of Dutch and Chinese scientists and doctors to repair its reputation. It all began almost a decade ago with Atul Gawande. He implemented the concept of medical checklists in medical care. With his really impressive book, The Checklist Manifesto, he explains how a simple checklist before surgery can reduce mortality by half. And everybody thought, this is the solution. This is it. This will standardize medical care and prevent us from making medical errors. But nowadays, we know more. It isn't that easy and compliance and acceptance rates of these checklists are lacking. Four years ago, I started as a resident to become an intensivist. And besides the beauty of my job, I also experienced how easy it was to make medical errors and how many times they happen in hospital. For instance, I, a couple of years ago, I was rushing with a young woman with diabetes to the intensive care unit because she was having a really low salt level and therefore continuous epileptic insults. And the reason for this really low salt level was the fact that she was only getting a fluid with uh, sugar and insulin in it for two days, not eating because she was waiting for surgery to come and what was rescheduled for two days in a row. And now she went to the intensive care. And nobody in the meantime of these three days checked her salt levels. And what is especially horrifying about this case is the fact that um, it's not once. The problem is that uh, we all think in hospitals we are safe. But if this can happen to an otherwise healthy young woman, then it can happen to you, your family, your children, everybody who comes into a hospital. Actually, every year, 400,000 Americans die an avoidable death due to preventable medical errors. And this is now the third leading cause of death in the United States. And the number is still rising. And that while all doctors begin their career with the First Amendment of the Hippocratic Oath, first, do no harm. In this complex medical world, we know the checklists help us. And as a cognitive aid. And of course, we don't like to make uh, mistakes or forget things and, uh, because we are not using the checklist. But what is really frustrating us is that these checklists of today don't fit in our daily practice. So therefore, um, they become more work instead of less and acceptance is bad. So what we did, we invented Tracebook, a software system that is able of generating digital checklists on your phone, tablet, computer, that is also connected to the electronic health record and therefore can overcome three big weaknesses of the current checklists. First of all, current checklists are static. They are always the same. Don't show patient specific items for the specific caregivers. While with our tracebook, we can make the checklist dynamic, showing only patient specific items in the checklist with for the specific caregiver. Second, current checklists are not helping the user with valuable information. While with our system, we can provide the user real-time data of the patient to help him complete the checklist. Third, current checklists are not context-aware. While with our checklists, it becomes context-aware because the system knows where you are on surgery, intensive care, or on the general ward. And the fourth benefit of our checklist system is that it is able of checking items automatically based on medical rules we as doctors make based on protocols. So in this demo, you can see a simple overview where you can log in, but logging in can be as simple as scanning a QR code at the bedside. Then you can unfold in the top to see what checks already have been checked automatically. In the hyperlink, you can see the information out of the electronic health record, like medication overview or lab results. And the information bullets show you information from out of the protocols that are used for these checklists. And what is amazing about this simple overview, that it lets us understand 
who has been checking what and when. So the whole medical process becomes again more traceable and the people in it more accountable. Recently we did our first tests with a prototype for the intensive care ward rounds and in a simulation based study and the results were quite remarkable. The percentage of unchecked checks of items that need a direct intervention during these ward rounds went down from 23 to this almost 0 percent. Also the number of phone calls of the pharmacist after these ward rounds because medication was started or not started went down from 80 to 4 percent and maybe even more important our tracebook checklist had a high acceptance score of 4.1 out of 5. So these results encourage us to further improve our ID and therefore because the best IDs come from the outside we are looking for software interface designers um, legal advice, but also entrepreneurs who can help us reach our goals and um, improve patient safety at the end. So if you're interested, please contact us at checktracebook at gmail.com. And as a last check of this pitch, I want to thank you all for your attention and time. Thank you. <laughs>